Congratulations. Thank you. Um, the election has been conducted and won. What can you say about the outcome of this election? Sincerely, I don't even know where to start. But I want to start by thanking God Almighty for the opportunity because I'm not better than any of the aspirants that contested this election today. But and that chooses me, not because I'm better than any of them. And I pray and hope that I can do better than what I have done in the past when I was given the same opportunity in 2011 to 2015. Uh, I lost the election in 2015. That election taught me three lessons in life. The first one was I was able to know where I've made mistakes. And if given another opportunity, I'll correct those mistakes. Secondly, I've learned or know where I've performed and when given another opportunity, I will do more. And it shows me that it's only God that gives power. He gave me power when I don't have anything in 2011 and I lost election when I was the number four citizen of the state as a deputy speaker then. I lost the election, which if money can actually but that election, I have the money to do that, but God says he gives power to whom he wishes. And that is exactly what happened. Those are the three lessons I learned about life completely. Now, what would be your call to other aspirants who have lost this election? I just have to call them, I have to persuade them, I have to meet them, let them come, let's put our head together and work for the success of the party. This success is not for only Engineer Drama Balagambo, but for the party. And they are one fight member of the party, so they have to come. We join hand together and work for the success of the party and the interests of Burgu as a whole. And what now? What what extra uh, work do you intend to do now? Then that is the second application. That is why I told you from the first instance that if I'm given another opportunity where I have performed, I will try and put more effort to see that I do more than what I did in the past. I will do more. And I can't be telling you I have so many things to do for the uh, for my local government and which I'm hoping with time you people will see it. I don't have to open up now. Now finally, hmm. what would be your message to the entire group and the delegates that voted that confide in you to get you into this house? I just have to thank them. The journey just begins. The main journey is coming by March next year. That is the general election. Now they're celebrating. This is just primaries. I will seek their indulgence. Let them come in mass in March 2023 to see that they vote me in so that I will still take over the same position I left. I left the same uh, 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 position which the person occupying this, uh, that position collected the position from me and I want to collect it back from him and return to the same office. So the last mm -hmm. one, the speaker has uh, almost brought the issue to the Chief of the House, and you have the experience to become the Chief of the House. What plan do you have on that if given the mandate? If given the mandate, it's not a new thing. I have been Deputy Speaker for three and a half years, and I have acted as a speaker in several locations, so it's not a new thing. It's just to, it's just like I dropped the shoe I'm wearing, and I want to return back and <laughs> put on my shoe back.